okay but now uh, what 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 we have we have seen what we have seen in the previous video that y variable has unit root that we have seen in the in the previous video okay now what I have done I have converted this y variable into first difference that is dy okay now now uh, my target to check my target to check whether dy has unit root or not that we want to check as before okay so we uh, we proceed uh, as before so we have to go to statistics as before and I go to time series as before then I go to test then I go to augmented Dickey Fuller test as before okay so the last time our variable was y but this time the variable would be dy okay and the Dickey Fuller test has three three shape the, the first one has intercept and the second one has trend and intercept and the third model has neither intercept nor trend okay so first we start with the intercept model having intercept meaning that meaning that I keep all the three blank only I select display regression table that means that uh, Dickey Fuller model having intercept but this time what I do I take the lag 4 lag 4 I choose this time okay so everything is set so we can proceed we can proceed with this result then I click OK so the outcome has come up you can see okay and what is the null hypothesis uh, sorry what is null that we have checked already null is unit root right and what is alternative uh, no no unit root right that is the alternative right okay now uh, we have the lag for right we have taken actually what is the guy and you can see the test statistics here 3.97 and here you can see 1% critical value 5% critical value 10% critical value but normally we choose 5% critical value right not 1% or 10% so normally we choose 5% critical value so here the value is 5% critical value which is minus 3 okay what is the guideline normally when the absolute value of test statistics is more than 
critical value, we reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis. But if the test statistics is less than critical value, then we cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis. That is always guideline. Okay, but make sure here we take only absolute value, meaning that we ignore minus negative sign and also here we ignore minus n we ignore negative sign that is called absolute value okay so here what is happening so 3.97 is is more than 3 meaning that I can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis. Meaning that our variable, the first difference of y, does not have unit root, which is dy, right? First difference of y does not have unit root. Okay, then uh, we uh, then uh, what about our Dickey Fuller model having only intercept? You can see only only constant or in intercept is here, and it has how many lag? Four lag. You can see, right? There are four lag. But here you have to make sure that the L1, the coefficient of L1 must have negative sign. So here it has negative sign. So the model is valid. The model is valid. Okay. Now uh, our second. Um, uh, model of Dickey Fuller is uh, uh, augmented Dickey Fuller is is what having trend and intercept so we go to statistics as before time series test augmented Dickey Fuller test okay the second uh, model of augmented Dickey Fuller or or Dickey Fuller so normally we say augmented Dickey Fuller. Mm, mm, the second model is uh, is having trend and intercept, meaning that I select this one, include trend term, and this time I select four lag as before. So we are set we can proceed okay so that is our outcome lag for right so the the value of test statistics is 4.28 is more than 3.6 meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept alternative hypothesis meaning that our variable does not have unit root okay and we, we, we check out about our model having this is our model having trend and constant and it has four lakh but we have to make sure the coefficient of L1 must be negative and it is negative already okay 
okay now uh, now uh, uh, our third model uh, third model has no intercept and no trend so I go to statistics time series test augmented Dickey Fuller test as before okay so no trend no intercept meaning that I select this one suppress constant term and I also select lag 4 as before then I proceed okay okay here you can see the outcome of the things okay here the test statistics 3.83 is more than 1.9 meaning that we can reject null hypothesis and can accept alternative meaning that our first difference of y does not have unit root and here uh, you can see th uh, this model has no intercept and no trend right and the l there is 4 lakh but make sure ly the coefficient of ly must be negative it is negative so the model is valid so what is the decision from the three model the decision of the three model is the first difference of y which is dy does not have unit root or the first difference of y dy is stationary that is the conclusion of the three model thank you very much for being with me for a while